Jordan, I would have never done this to you. I would have never done this to you. If you're dealing with a man who's purposeful, you could never be his priority. You know why? Because his purpose to himself, to what he got to do, is always going to be first. He's always going to choose the opportunity that's going to advance his career, which trickles down and benefits you if he's his woman over you. All men need a woman to remind them of who they are, to remind them of their power, because at times we do get lost, we do get misguided, and we lean on our woman. A lot of the times with men, a woman is our inspiration. You see men turn their whole lives around. Why? Because they trying to attract the woman yeah, into their lives. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. I'll never let a woman make me feel less of a man because I don't want to buy a Birkin. You can send me back to the streets and I send you back to your mama house. Happy hour dining, free drinks and back to your mama couch. You just want a nigga with status to feel established. But it ain't enough room in this forum for all your baggage. He left me to work on himself. So I did the same. Nigga, what? Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. You're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor, hit the notifications button right now. All right, guys, let's get to it. This plus size model sizzles on the pages of Sports Illustrated. So you can imagine her shock when she says, she was along with another plus size model and denied entrance to a popular nightclub. We're not able to get let in as a thicker, curvy woman. He looked at me up and down and was like, not tonight. This is, you know, shaming to the queen. This has been talked about. This has been going on in Miami for years. This has been going on in LA for years. This has been going on in New York for years. For years, bouncers have always did this. They're not going to let a, a, the club fill with a bunch of ugly girls or thick girls who are unattractive into the club just so they feel pretty. The women are not understanding. The club has to make money. Where do they make most of their money? Off of men. The men go inside the club and spend a lot of money to impress the women. What type of women are they trying to impress? Model women. Women that are desirable. So a club is not going to let in a bunch of thick women that men do not want because men are not going to spend money. If clubs consistently just let big women in, then those clubs will go under, which is why you don't see clubs for big women. Who just throwing them up and he just, hey, it's just a quick message to all the women around the world, in my opinion, who trying to do it the right way. Just got off the phone and had a conversation with one of my homeboy's daughter. He wanted me to talk to her because she in college, but she depressed and she frustrated because she seeing her homegirls back home who doing their Instagram thing and meeting this dude with some money and meeting this dude and flying over here and they buying him this and she questioning is what she doing is even worth it. And this is what a lot of these girls are going to face. The ones that want to go to college, the one that want to be independent, the one that want to do their own thing legit are always battling, looking at the internet and seeing these girls live out their life, looking like they're living their best life because they could put on these themes. They could go get with men that just trick off to them and give them whatever they want. In most cases, a lot of these guys who have the money to do that don't even care about spending it. But for the women out there, it's doing nothing but making them lazier, but it's also putting a price on their soul. The moment you put a price on your soul, you would never get it back. You could pretend like you want it back, but you would never get it back. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told her to all the women around the world. I'm going to tell you all the same thing I told her. Run your own race. And what I mean by run your own race, when you talking about blessings, standing for the right thing and having your principles, your values, and your morals, I promise you, your blessings come in a totally different way. They might not come the Chanel bag way, but I guarantee you, it's like building a house on the right foundation. You can be looking at another realtor who just throwing them up and he just grabbing a bag or she just grabbing a bag. 
and in another year or two, them houses just gonna have plenty of problems. Or you can take your time, build on the right foundation, and have you something that can last you forever. And it's like I told her. And he is absolutely right. This is why I tell a lot of you guys, do not be distracted in your 20s. In your 20s, you're supposed to learn. You're gonna make these mistakes. It's the same thing with women. They're mainly going to face this in their 20s because that's the time period that a lot of women have the value. By the time a woman gets to 30, she's not going to be able to go out here and live her best life in her 30s. She could run the numbers up in her 20s, but if she hasn't con conditioned herself to go the rest of her life and getting it the regular way, then she's going to fall from grace. But you take that girl who maintains with her morality and she just stays patient she'll eventually get the right guy because once the right guy matures all the way, then he'll know exactly what the right girl is. Most of what everyone is doing is just trying to be a rap video, even when they're legit. Look how many people that are legit get money, but they celebrate their money the same way as a rapper. Everyone is trying to live like a video. I'd rather be single and happy than in a relationship and miserable. And what you don't see is what they don't want you to see. They showing you all the good times, but they ain't showing you internally. Cause if they can do it on their own, they would do it on their own. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be out here trying to live off somebody else. They didn't gave up on themselves. That's why they choosing that option. He's right. Whenever you can't think for yourself, you're gonna go into survival mode. When these girls go into survival mode, they're going to do whatever it is they have to do to get the money and the materialistic things because they think that's what makes them happy. So to all the women who trying to do it the right way, trust me when I tell you the blessings that God got for you going to be a total different level of blessing. Run your own race. God got you. Hey, it's just a this is why it's very important to find your lead. You need to find your group of people that you hang out with. That's why college is important. That's why even going to the military is important. So you can find the group of people that you fit in. If you can't find the group of people that you fit in, then you're going to be left trying to emulate what you're seeing on TV. And you think what you're seeing on TV is real when in reality, it's just a facade. You have to understand, we live in a world now dangling steak in front of, in front of poor people is going to get you robbed. And if you're watching TV, a lot of people are going through that. Oh, you was. Oh, yeah. But he came home. He was out at work. And he came home and his pants was on backwards. That's the worst way to cheat. Because I, I don't know who you was. I know who you was. Oh, well, yeah. Both cheating or just him? At first, he was cheating a whole lot. And I was nagging a whole lot. I cheated after he cheated. After I begged him for like a year to stop cheating. You no, know, I got him back good. I cheated so hard that it, it broke his heart. Because I, oh, I was heartbroken the whole time. So it was like, you right. want to fill my fucking pain at this mm -hmm. point. Good. I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm proud of it. I just lied. I'm proud of it. I don't this when I start cheating, of course. We open that door up. Ain't no closing that door. Yeah. It's like, I can't go home and be regular again. Exactly. Like, She's right, because she's a black woman. They have masculine traits. They take on the traits of a man. You know what I hate about these shows? They always got the fat, sloppy ones on there talking about how they done cheated, all the nasty stuff, and all the guys that want to be with them, but yet, they're always single. <laughs> Is that what ultimately led you to like want to end the relationship? I was happy being in a relationship with him while I was cheating. That was, my, okay. that was the happiest moments I ever had with him. Going home to somebody who made sense. dinner and washed, you know, kept the baby and that did everything sense. else. And I came home. That's how I ever felt. They, they say. I keep telling you guys, when it comes to B-dubs, bro, like when I was growing up, you got to realize I've been on the Spanish side and the black side. Two different sides. People always like, you got something against black. My mom is black. Understand that she is actually darker than this girl right here in the photo. My mom is way darker than that. My dad is almost white. No, he's a white Latino. But I can tell you right now, I've always looked at black women as breeders. I've always felt like your sex drive was high and you have kids for no reason and that you're always in a sexual mood. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hopefully you have a good Sunday. Hasta la vista.